So what I've uh, done now is I've uh, flipped, flipped the piece around. Uh, it's time to turn the other diameter. And uh, this is pre-drilled in the drill press, the centers. But uh, I'm holding it in the four jaw uh, when I'm roughing because it's a it's a much more steady setup than uh, rather than driving it with a dog. And uh, when I'm down to almost finished size, I will put a fixed center in the four jaw and drive it with a dog between centers and finish both this diameter and this flange. So uh, this uh, first cut, the part is running out pretty bad, uh, but uh, when going through a mill scale, uh, it's always good to go uh, as far down so you're, you're uh, not dragging in the mill scale, that will ruin the, the insert instantly, it's, uh, the rust is too hard, so get a deep first cut so you go through that in one pass. Yeah, now we got the piece uh, roughed out at both ends, and uh, now we got it between centers with a drive dog. Uh, we got like two mil left here and here, and like half a mil to take off this flange. Uh, this piece will go at the top of the crane. Uh, this will be inserted into the crane itself, and there will be two big holes here and screws going straight through uh, to keep it in position. And uh, here it will be a big uh, uh, plastic bearing, uh, flange bearing here uh, for the rotation. Uh, I don't like this setup, but uh, when uh, getting uh, two concentrical diameters, I think it's necessary. But particularly this one spinning around, and it's a possibility, always a possibility you can get caught in that or. Uh, this thing spinning if you push it too hard and I don't I don't really like it but you have to pay extra attention yeah so now I uh, have uh, turned the piece around and this was not a critical measurement this will be inserted to a pole and no bearing surface or anything but uh, this surface is more critical it's uh, 230 mm long and has to be pretty precise because uh, this uh, Delrin uh, bushing will go on to here like that and there will also be a housing that uh, is at the weld shop and uh, galvanize uh, as we speak, I hope. Uh, so uh, with a lathe this old and worn, 230 millimeter uh, bearing tolerance is pretty hard. So sometimes we have to work spots with a file and and try to make the best of the situation. But uh, as always, we will try. But uh, I'm hoping this job will pay for retirement of this lathe, and uh, hopefully I'll get a newer one with a better waist and bearings and everything. So uh, within a thaw, so I guess uh, sometimes you just hit the right spot on the bedways and uh, it turns out okay. So now it's time for some uh, some filing and uh, some emery paper uh, and this one will be done.
and uh, no one have to comment about the emery cloth because I cover up the bedways and this is an old old machine and uh, so. <laughs> So, uh, the bearing surface down here turned out great and it's a great fit against the Delorin bushing. Uh, so now uh, the upper part that's gonna be connected to the pole itself uh, is gonna have to be drilled. Two holes, 17, 17 millimeter. Uh, so, uh, I got this universal milling machine and uh, I didn't get enough height when I uh, laid the, the axle down on V-blocks because uh, I want to use the Morse taper type drills and uh, all the adapters to ISO 40 and so on builds and builds so couldn't reach it uh, and I don't want to put it in the drill press uh, so I had to stand it up so this is the setup and then I took an old uh, vise uh, clamp that down just to support the force when uh, pushing it so it won't tip so this is a pretty sturdy setup but uh, of course I would have liked more to lay it down flat on the table but you can't always get that because you haven't got enough big mill so yeah this is a Swedish old Swedish made universal milling machine so it's it's pretty nice it's it's uh, a bit noisy in the uh, what you call it uh, angle angle head here I recently had uh, all this apart and uh, changed uh, all the bearings because someone didn't put the lock washer on so the bearings were shut and therefore it all was shaking and uh, the the angle gear uh, got messed up so uh, it's pretty hard to find the uh, new uh, gears, so it's a bit noisy. So, but otherwise, it's uh, it's a uh, very nice machine, and uh, the ways are are uh, in, in good condition. It and it's tight, and uh, it, it has the precision left in it. So, uh, we finished both these holes, and now we're gonna drill this center to uh, M16 thread, threaded hole. So, yeah, this is uh, the thing I was doing with the angle, I found it here. It's, it's hard to run an indicator when you have this much picturing going on, and on this side I have to lean over and check it. For a hole like this, only a thread, I think it's uh, plenty accurate to just uh, measure to the table. Yeah, so I uh, received uh, some uh, rapid tap and some tap magic, I believe it's called, uh, from a YouTube user named Matthias Christiansson, who also lives here in Sweden, and he was doing some research about cutting fluids and so on, and uh, he asked me if I would uh, try them out. So uh, now I thought it was a, 
good opportunity to do it because I got uh, to do this M16 thread and I already had one of my tapping heads uh, adjusted for M16 and I uh, use, usually use uh, a thing called the uh, Rokoal. Uh, when I tap, it uh, looks like this and it's very thick. And I usually uh, thin this out with some uh, uh, general uh, uh, metal cutting uh, fluid, like the water soluble. I use. Uh, so, like I said, this was uh, adjusted for M16 and uh, it uh, went in uh, pretty far, but uh, if we start it up, uh, it barely moves. almost there so it's it's decent yeah. filming and doing this at the same time <laughs> uh, yeah so uh, it's uh, it's good uh, it's it's also much thinner so uh, uh, I think it's good it stayed on the tap nicely there but uh, the, the thicker, uh, when it gets warm, it will distribute uh, for a longer period of time when you're tapping. So, I prefer the thick uh, tapping uh, compounds. Uh, but uh, this uh, seems to be very nice. I haven't tried the uh, rapid uh, tap yet, but this was the ma uh, tap magic, it's called. Yeah. So, yeah, and it smells wonderful. 